big momentum shift too was when you added Eric Wolford to your coaching staff. Yeah, Wolf is a really good offensive line coach, great personality, really, really good recruiter. Players love him, he's got great relationships. He's got a fine family, uh, he's got a great foundation. Uh, so, you know, this guy's got a great leadership quality and we, we really enjoy having to be a part of our staff. Coach, let's go Mercedes-Benz All Access with Eric Wolford. <laughs> Well, obviously it's an honor to coach here, you know, this is a special place. Uh, it wasn't a very difficult decision to make the decision to come here and, and work with Coach Saban, obviously, but uh, it's something that I look forward to. Uh, unfortunately, when I've been here in the past, I was on the other sideline, so I'm glad to be on, on, our, on the home side this time. Well, I think, you know, at, when you look at when a guy comes and plays for you in your program, you want to give them every opportunity to achieve their childhood dream. We know they're going to graduate. We know they're going to have those college experiences and win football games, but we want to see them have an opportunity to play on Sunday. And I've always told them, if you come in and you work hard and you do things the right way, there's probably a pretty good chance that you're going to get an opportunity to you know, sign a contract and be, and be on a team. Now, whether you make it or not, that's going to be up to you. But at the end of the day, uh, at this level, you should be able to achieve those dreams if you're willing to do your part. In my coaching career, I had a chance to work with Steve Spurrier, who was tremendous, Ron Zook, Mike Stoops. I mean, I've Daryl Dickey at North Texas. I've had a lot of uh, coaches, Will Muschamp, that I've had a chance to learn things from, and they've all been a little bit different. I think at the end of the day, I just want to get guys to be overachievers. You know, uh, it's not always the most talented guy that plays the best or wins. Uh, that's something that Coach Snyder taught us is, is just developing guys into being hardworking, blue collar guys. But I really want guys to be overachievers in football and in life. Well, I think, uh, first of all, we appreciate you. Uh, you guys do have an impact on our program and it makes a difference. When it's third down and you're loud and the other team can't function on offense, that makes a difference. And these players, uh, it's an honor to play here. They know that. It's an honor to coach here. At the same time, your passion, it's kind of like the fuel for a fire and uh, it definitely changes the environment. <laughs>